When using inheritance, we have subclasses inheriting methods from superclasses. Sometimes the way a superclasses method works isn't exactly suitable for the subclass that extends it. For an example, let's look at professional football. In football, we have players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and Robert Lewandowski. And then we have Brazilian players like Neymar, Ronaldinho, and Kaká. If you notice, when we refer to players from outside of Brazil, we use both their name and surname. However, when we refer to players from Brazil, we only use their first name. If we had to create a class for a footballer with all the methods of a footballer, like shoot, pass, tackle, dribble, etc., and we had to print out their name, we would generally print out both the footballer's first name and surname. When it comes to Brazilian footballers, however, we usually only print their first name. So as we can see here, we have two classes, one being the superclass footballer, which has all the methods that a footballer needs, and the other class being Brazilian footballer, which inherits from footballer, but has a different implementation of the print name method, which is more appropriate for Brazilian footballer. This, in a nutshell, is how method overriding works. We have one class which extends another and inherits the methods of the other class. However, if a method does not function according to the requirements of the subclass, the subclass can rewrite that method within itself, essentially overriding the superclass's method. Moving on to a code example of overriding, we go to our Land of Heroes project, which can be downloaded at the link below. When we look at the hero class, we can find a one low health method right here that alerts a hero when their health is low. Then if we look at the sorcerer class, which inherits from the hero class, we see no implementations of the one low health method to override the hero class's one low health method. Moving on to the main class, if I create an object of the sorcerer subclass right here, and then call the one low health method, I get the output here which shows the one low health method from the superclass that the sorcerer class inherits from being called. Moving on to the Kryptonian class, which inherits from the hero class, let's create a one low health method that overrides the hero class's one low health method. As you may know, a Kryptonian needs to fly near the sun to heal themselves. So this one low health method will act a little differently from the superclass's method in that it will print out an alert telling the user that the Kryptonian's health is low and that they need to fly near the sun. Moving back to the main class, we first create an object of Kryptonian. Then we call the one low health method using this object. As we can see, with this output, the one low health method in the subclass, which overrides the one low health method in the superclass, is called. This brings us to an end of this explanation. Thank you for watching.